I think I he, don't, I'm he's, only he's got the height. He is a tall Obviously, guy. Obviously, women find him very attractive. It didn't take long for Pete Davidson to move on from Kim Kardashian to another stunning supermodel, Emily Ratajkowski. And he isn't shy to flaunt her to the world. You just gotta roll with it. Out of nowhere, a new romance has budded. Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski are officially dating. Both ended relationships over the summer. Davidson split from Kim Kardashian in August after 10 months of dating, while Ratajkowski split from her husband Sebastian Bear McClard in July after nearly four years of marriage. Luckily for them, they found love and solace in each other, and Pete wants the whole world to know. Hollywood star Pete Davidson is continuing his lucky streak with A-list ladies after catching the eye of newly single bombshell Emily Ratajkowski. The former SNL comedian, 28, and the model, 31, are said to be in the very early stages of dating and really like each other. I mean, he seems super charming. He's yep. vulnerable. Yep. He's lovely. Great. His fingernail polish is awesome. Like, he looks good. <laughs> there you go. He's great. Good relationship um, with his mother. Yeah, you know. great relationship with his mother. We love Just it. A... They have been talking for a couple of months now after being set up by mutual friends, a source told Us Weekly. An insider further divulged that Pete, who was once praised for his Big D energy by ex Ariana Grande, 29, and most recently had a whirlwind romance with Kim Kardashian, 42, loves how intelligent Emily is. The source also added that the funny man's humor is a big plus for the runway star. Pete makes Emily laugh. It comes after a recent internet rumor claiming the pair were seen all over each other went viral. An anonymous tipster claimed to gossip site Dumois that they saw Emily and Pete on a date in Brooklyn on Sunday, writing, his hands were all over her and they're clearly, clearly hooking up. Emily was last known to be dating DJ Orazio Rispo, who she was seen passionately kissing in NYC last month following her split from husband Sebastian Bear McClard. Now, we know that Pete hasn't given an interview or anything to confirm the rumors, but his denial of any such claims and his public hanging out with Emily and showering her with that much love and affection sends us all a very clear message. He is definitely off the market for now and is very much into Emily. It wasn't just us who were thrown back at this news. The entire social media was shocked and many took to Twitter to express their thoughts. While comedian Pete, who has famously landed beauties including Kate Beckinsale and Ariana Grande, split from Kim Kardashian in August 2022 after nine months of dating. Grande once tweeted about his 10 inches and set the internet ablaze with talk of his Big D energy. Meanwhile, Kim admitted that she pursued Pete after hearing about his Big D energy and was simply DTF, later hinting that she was having the best time of her life in the bedroom with the comedian. Emily has previously praised Pete as super charming after working with him on a shoot in 2021. She said during an appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers, he's a professional. First of all, you should know that about Pete. Pete, he's got the height. Obviously, women find him very attractive. Guys are like, wow, what's that guy got? And I'm like, I mean, he seems super charming. He's vulnerable, he's lovely, his fingernail polish is awesome, he looks good. Fans quickly took to social media to express their shock over the new pairing, with one fan writing, Someone needs to do a thesis study on how Pete Davidson managed to score Ariana Grande, Kim Kardashian, and Emily Ratajkowski in the same lifetime. Another wrote, I think Pete can literally get any woman he wants. Emily Ratajkowski now? I don't get it. A third typed, Pete Davidson with Emily Ratajkowski now? He's just the most sought after accessory at this point to A1 celebs. One user tweeted, Pete Davidson really went from Kim Kardashian to Emily Ratajkowski? Impressed is an understatement. Pete Davidson landing Emily Ratajkowski and his collection of girls he dated just shows that when girls say we like funny guys, we mean it, another added. Last month, Emily packed on the PDA with Orazio during a date night in NYC. Orazio has worked as a DJ for two decades. He also owned and operated a record shop in Brooklyn called Halcyon Record Shop until it closed in 2020 among the COVID-19 pandemic. The pair was last seen giggling with one another, locking lips, staring into each other's eyes, and sharing a romantic embrace as they strolled through Manhattan after enjoying an alfresco dinner date. The mother of one was recently rumored to be dating Brad Pitt, 58. It's unclear how or when Emily and Orazio first met, but it appears they've known each other for a while, as it was reported that they were seen grabbing dinner together during Milan Fashion Week last September. News then hit the web that Emily had split from her husband of four years, Sebastian, in July. At the time, it was reported that the model had made the decision to leave her film producer husband, 41, over claims that he was a serial cheater. A source told Page Six at the time, it's gross, he's a dog. Comedian and social media influencer Claudia Oshry also spoke out about the situation during an episode of the Morning Toast podcast, in which she claimed that Sebastian's infidelity was an open secret in the industry. 
It's like known that her husband has cheated on her and they're filing for divorce, she said, adding that when the couple officially confirms their separation, it will not come as a surprise to anyone. Emily, who shares a one-year-old son with Sebastian, named Sylvester Apollo Bear, then filed for divorce in September. In the wake of her divorce proceedings, there have been rumors that Emily was involved in a romance with Brad, but she seemed to shut these rumors down with her very public display of affection with Orazio. Emily and Sebastian, who is best known for producing movies Uncut Gems, Good Time, and Funny Pages, were first linked on Valentine's Day in February 2018, one month after news had hit the web that she had split from her boyfriend Jeff Maggot after three years together. At the time, the pair was spotted packing on the PDA in Los Angeles, California. It's unclear how they met, but an insider told Us Weekly that at the time they had known each other for years. Just days after their first spotting, news hit the web that they had tied the knot in a New York City courthouse on February 23, 2018. Emily then confirmed the news via Instagram, writing, So, I have a surprise. I got married today. She later told Jimmy Fallon on his show, The Tonight Show, that she only took 30 seconds to decide she wanted to marry the producer. I thought about it for 30 seconds, she joked. It was a city hall courthouse wedding. I guess I didn't know what I always wanted to do, which is maybe why it was so untraditional. They made their red carpet debut in March of that year while attending the 33rd Annual Film Independent Spirit Awards together, and the two looked like the epitome of marital bliss at the event. Their four-year-old romance was plagued with scandal and controversy, starting with the fact that they had wed after only a few days together. She first sparked breakup rumors in July, when she was seen going for a stroll in New York with the couple's son and she was not wearing her wedding ring. The model was pictured moving her stuff out of the New York City apartment that she previously shared with Sebastian last month. Her new romance with Pete also comes after Kim and Pete were revealed not to be rekindling their romance and haven't been in communication. Last week, it was claimed that the reality star and actor were back in contact three months after their split. However, Kim and Pete are still not in communication and have not seen each other, a source close to the former couple told TMZ on Wednesday morning. The insider claims that the two would remain friends if they crossed paths in person as there is no bad blood, but they are living their own lives for the time being. TMZ also asked the source if they believed that the former power couple would get back together, as they answered that it was highly unlikely. An insider told the outlet last summer that the romance was starting to fizzle out due to distance issues, as Davidson had been abroad shooting the movie Wizards in Australia. Pete being away for so long was hard for them, the source said. Kim is doing well, and she knows that she has a lot going on. Pete has been super busy as well. Pete was first linked to the reality television personality in October 2021, weeks after Kim made her hosting debut on SNL, where the now ex-couple shared an on-screen kiss. However, after less than a year together, an insider said on August 5th that the pair had decided to just be friends, citing demanding schedules and the long distance as Pete worked on a project in Australia while Kim is based in the US. At the time, Pete had spent months filming his upcoming movie Wizards in Australia, where Kim visited him in July for a romantic getaway in the Daintree Rainforest. However, their luxury stay at a lavish five-star eco-lodge in the jungle was evidently not enough to salvage the couple's relationship. That's it for today! Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time with more updates on everything. Goodbye!